So, I'm gonna try not to be too shady in this video. Like, I'm really gonna try and keep it cute. Okay. Thanks for tuning back into my channel. So today we're going to be doing our first anti-haul. Now, the premise of the anti-haul is to basically talk about products that you won't be buying, okay? For whatever reason, whether it's the person that runs the brand, so the product is being wax sauce, this is your time to come in and say, girl, I'm not buying it. So before I get into the video, I did want to say that Jackie Ina is the first person that I saw do this video. I also watched Alyssa Ashley's yesterday, and I also figured out the person who actually started these types of videos that um, we were told started them and I'll leave that person's link to their like list down below um, His videos are hilarious by the way So yeah, I'll leave a link to one down below as well as to the one that Jackie did because hers was hilarious And so was Alyssa so I'll leave those links down below in the description box for you guys If you want to check those out Just first get the obvious ones out because girl the, they're obviously here. Okay, let's let's go ahead and chit chat uh, Shea Moisture. Hey girl. Hey <laughs> Yeah uh -huh. We won't be buying your products anymore, so uh, next. Um, we won't be supporting Shea Moisture at all anymore. Honestly, they're canceled. Um, they're canceled. I mean, you guys know what happened with Shea Moisture and their All Hair Matters movement. Girl, ain't nobody got time for that when your brand was built from us, brown skin girls, supporting you guys, going to Walmart, spending our hard-earned our hard-earned coins on your products. Only for you to basically say, forget all y'all, we trying to get to the redheads and to the blondes and to the brunettes. Girl, sit down, have several seats. We will be canceling you. After I run out of my products, I will be switching brands. And I actually have one that I'm gonna be using and I'll get back to you guys on that one real soon, okay? So Shea Moisture, you're canceled. No shade. <laughs> So moving on um, to the next obvious one, um, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Need I say more? I mean, honestly, truly. I mean, here's the thing, okay? Let's not even front like Jeffree Star does not have great products, okay? His highlighters are the size of like Arnold Schwarzenegger's head. You know, the highlighters are humongous. They're really pigmented. They're very pretty colors from what I've seen. The liquids are nice. The liquid lipsticks he has. The eyeshadow palettes, man, how could do without them? But overall, honestly, I just don't support anything that Jeffree Star does. And here's my top three reasons why. One, uh, you're racist. So like Jackie said, I've never seen any kind of formal apology for any of the comments that he's made about black women. Um, I've never seen him come out and say, you know, that is that was me. That's how I felt at that time. I have evolved into a better person. Uh, as someone that owns a brand, you know, my thoughts have changed on black women and, and how beautiful you are and just acknowledging us. And I don't see that. Um, I also did not like the fact, too, that you used an Asian woman and then spray painted her down and photoshopped her to be just as brown as I am. Where are they doing that at? Mm, okay. Uh, third of all, uh, let's not forget the, the drama with makeup Shayla. Now, y'all know if you watch my Snapchats and you also watch my videos here, I love me some makeup Shayla. So for you to come for Shayla talking about you're going to fight her, let's not forget, honey, you're a man at the end of the day. It doesn't matter how much makeup, foundation, highlight, contour, bronzer, lash, lip you got on, honey, you're still a man. So how dare you threaten to, to beat a woman up because for whatever comment she made behind the scenes that nobody even heard. So for those reasons, I, I just can't support you. I'm sorry, dear. But what I will not do is support someone who is against black women, who threatened a black woman to fight her for some words that she didn't even say to you, she said it to somebody else. And then also just the overall drama of him. I just don't like it. Like you're a business owner. How dare you threaten a woman and you own a makeup company. You own a cosmetics line. You are the face of your brand. You are the name of your brand. So how dare you? That's like if Dolce & Gabbana threatened to beat up somebody. Like Girl, what? Get your life together. Like, Bobby Brown would never, okay? No, you don't do that. So, until I hear further, she won't be supporting him. And I'm not going to encourage anybody else not to, but I mean... All right, guys, so the next product we're going to talk about is this Hoda Beauty Rose Gold Shadow Palette. Girl, 
The reviews were mixed. I was just turned off. I really loved the highlight or the uh, rose gold shadow that was in there. Just a single rose gold shadow. I thought it was beautiful. But the pigment sucked. Like, it sucked. And it's so interesting that I'm talking about a Huda Beauty product that I will never buy because I have her liquid lipstick on and I will get to those thoughts in another video. But I just didn't like the palette. I just, I just felt like it was overhyped uh, for no reason because the colors were not good. They just, they were inconsistent swatches. The, the, the colors that everybody bought the palette for didn't even look like the colors that you bought it for. It, it kind of was like you have to finagle around the color to get it to really pop. And if I'm going to spend that much money on a palette, girl, I would go to Mac and buy a pigment and make it happen. Okay. All right, guys, moving right along, we're going to talk about this good Becca and Christy Teigen highlight kick that's coming out this summer. Now, this product is not out yet. It comes out, I believe, June, July, something like that. I won't be buying it, and here's why. Um, it is an exact dupe for the Jaclyn Hill Becca palette, and I have that, so I don't think I need another one. I mean, honestly. It looks the exact same. If you have not seen the swatches and you want to take a look at the kit, make sure you head on over to my makeup page. I'll leave the name of the makeup page down here in the link. It's Queens of Beauty. The um, before and after the Queens of Beauty is three underscores. Girl, they have my name available. But check out the swatches there. Let me know what y'all think about that palette. I just feel like it's a dupe for Jacqueline's kit. Um, <sighs> Kylie Cosmetics. Let's talk, girl. So let me not let me not get this wrong. I actually really like Kylie, okay? I think Kylie is dope. You know, she wears some cute clothes sometimes. She has amazing cars. Her nails are always fleeky. But some of her makeup products are inconsistent. Um, one that I will not be purchasing would be the Kai Lighters, the Kylie Blushes, the uh, Kim Kardashian West Collection, and let's not forget the tragedy of Court K liquid lipstick. I won't be purchasing that at all, girl, because that was the worst. Um, the reason why I won't be purchasing the highlighters and the blushes is just because I think the packaging is cheap looking. Like, it just looks like it came from Claire's. Let's be honest. If you want to spend $30 on a highlighter or $30 on a blush, wouldn't you want it to be in some luxurious, beautiful packaging? Why would I want... I can go to MAC and get a freaking... A freaking blush for like what $25 or something like that girl bye the blushes are not pigmented they're just they're just they're just not for me okay and honestly the the Kim Kardashian West collection was not black girl friendly to me in my opinion because I have one I just didn't feel like the colors were for us I feel like she made those colors for herself and that's fine or whatever, but when you're trying to uh, appease a public market, you want to make sure that you're making a product that everybody can wear. If I got to buy four lipsticks and then I got to go to MAC and spend $21 on a brown lip pencil to make those four lipsticks worth, I'm spending more money than I actually should have. Don't you agree? I thought so. So that's why I won't be purchasing those things. However, comma, her Kylie glosses are amazing. I give those two thumbs up. They are the bomb. So, I mean, after she got that wand thing taken care of, the second batch was amazing, okay? I love the glosses. I will actually be repurchasing those glosses because they were really good, okay? They were that good. So, moving right along. Well, the next thing on my list is the Farsali's oils. Now, here's the reason why I'll be buying these. Now, they're very pretty. I love the one that Shayla uses with the gold flakes in it. It looks all bougie and expensive and stuff. But here's why I'm not buying it. What's the purpose of them? Can anybody honestly say, oh, girl, yeah, if you want to do this, you buy the Farsali oil. Oh, girl, if you want to do this, you buy the Farsali oil. I've never seen anybody really sit down and say what they're for. And honestly, I just I just feel like they're a hype product on Instagram. They look really pretty in our nice makeup collections and, and the pictures that I've seen of collections on, on, on Instagram. I also really like the purple package, which is like the unicorn tears or something like that. Also, comma, what's up with unicorns and, and, and all this all of a sudden? Like everybody's into unicorns. Like I just don't I just don't understand. Either way though, um, I'm just not here for it. If I want to get an oil for my skin, which technically speaking, I don't think I should really be putting a lot of oil on my skin, but whatever. Um I wouldn't want to do that. I just I just don't feel like there's been enough um actual fact that has come out about the Farsali oil. So she won't be purchasing that either okay thanks 
Moving on, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Let's talk about this good uh, Aurora highlight kit. Uh, now, I'm going to be uh, very honest with you. These videos are uh, kind of challenging because I've seen and heard a lot of people have been taken off of PR lists because of their opinions. Um, this is not to shade a brand. This is not to shade a product. I use a lot, a lot of ABH. So, um, Norvina, uh, Anastasia, if y'all are out there, I love the brand. The brand is amazing. However, comma, this kit in particular, it's just not my cup of tea. It's not my ministry. And here's why. Um, who wants to be walking around with a blue highlight every day? If I'm going to spend $40 on a highlight, I'm not going to bring that out for just festival season. No, I'm trying to use that thing year round. Okay. Um, I'm trying to use that every day. Okay. I want to wake up every day. So, Ooh, which one do I want to use today? Do I want this one, this one, this one, this one. Now I do love the fact that there's now six highlighters versus before they had four. So I think that's amazing. It's a I think a little bit more expensive now, but either way you get more product, you get more bang for your buck. But girl, again, who's trying to have a blue highlight and a green highlight every day? I'll wait. So I'm not buying it. Um, you know, I again, I love the brand. I got a whole bunch of Anastasia on right now. But we won't just we we, we just gonna skip that kid, girl. We we gonna act like that one didn't happen, okay? Between me and you, okay? That didn't happen for real. Mm -mm, we're gonna let that go. All right, guys. So I put um the Mac Liquid lipsticks on this list, and let me tell you why. The first batch is the one that I bought from. The first time they ever released liquid lipsticks, I bought two because it's MAC. They can't do no wrong in my eyes. They got all the colors. They were horrible. Oh my God, they were so bad. So uh, they pretty much tainted me on that. Um, but I've heard that they reformulated. They re, you know, redid some stuff. They went back to the lab again and said, oh, girl, let's work that out again. Um, and apparently, you know, these are better now. So I'll let y'all know on that one. But for right now, we won't be buying those either. Thanks. And last, uh, but certainly not least, uh, Mark Jacobs. Um, Uncle Mark. Uncle Mark. <sighs> Mark Jacobs uh, has a makeup line, if you didn't know. Mark Jacobs, uh, Mark Jacobs is a fashion designer. Um, he is not the first designer to branch into beauty products. Tom Ford has amazing products. Um, so does Givenchy, so does YSL, so does Chanel, uh, Dior, numerous people. Um, a couple years ago, I think this was last year, last fashion week, maybe, maybe last fall. Um, Uncle Mark decided it'd be a great idea to put everybody in the fashion show with some dreads. So you're basically stealing from a culture. You're appropriating a culture, um, when... Zendaya, Zendaya was just on a red carpet a couple years ago and y'all said she looked dirty. She smelled like weed and she was gross, but Marc Jacobs does it and oh, it's beautiful. It's fashion. Oh, yes, darling. No. Um, now, I have swatched some of Marc Jacobs products. They um, actually are very nice swatches. His lip products are amazing. His range on his foundations are horrible. And that's another reason why we won't be buying this product. Um, but this product in particular, the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. Um, there's a primer by Too Faced and it's called, um, is it the RX Primer? It's the RX Primer and it has coconut in it. I suggest you go get that one. Okay. So if you really want to smell coconut when you put your primer on, girl, get you the Too Faced one, okay? Um, I just don't like the fact that that whole situation with Marc Jacobs just rubbed me the wrong way. It kind of felt like, well, I mean, you know, I saw this as art. art. And for me, it's like, if you're going to steal from us, if you're going to steal from people in the islands, if you're going to steal from Jamaicans or whomever, at least acknowledge them, okay? You know, at least acknowledge it. Acknowledge the fact that, you know, I love their culture. It is absolutely beautiful. I love how their hair looks. And I just want to put that at my show. That's it. That's all you got to do. Like, that's, that's it. We're not asking you to be like, oh, I worship the ground that people walk on and blah, blah, blah. We're not asking for that. All we're saying is, if you're going to appropriate our culture or borrow from our culture, acknowledge it. That's all we want, you know? 
that's all we want honestly and honestly again i mean it would be very nice if we could just go into a sephora and you know lupita could have a foundation choice other than fashion fair or mac you know lupita wants to wear mark jacobs too okay you know shout out to uh, makeup forever by the way because they have every color of foundation imaginable i went into sephora the other day and saw at least 40 shades of foundation from uh, makeup forever so if you're a dark skin girl and you can't find a foundation just know makeup forever got your back and so does bobby brown okay tell them i sent you well, that's all I have guys on this list. You guys have to let me know down below what products you have canceled, what brands you have canceled on your list, who you got blocked on Instagram, because girl, my list is endless. So make sure you leave your comments down below. As always, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook. I'll leave those links down below for you guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Let me know what you want to see down below, please. If you want me to do these videos more frequently, keep me posted down below. Hit me up in the comments. Slide in my DMs on Twitter or Instagram. But don't be doing no crazy stuff because I will block you. So anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video on Monday. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.